It is time to try and turn 10 bucks into 200 with the Bella Fado build. And this week's twist is that it has to be players with all odd numbered jerseys. The first player that comes to mind for me is Terry McLaurin. He's number 17. He's the top receiver for the commanders and he's facing a giant squad that is bottom 10 against the number one wide receivers. Because I want to keep this to a three leg parlay, we're going to have to boost up the yardage, which is very safe to do with Terry McLaurin. He said 100 plus yard games in three weeks. We'll just go 80 plus though for our first leg. He's averaging over five catches a game. And of all receivers in the league, he has the second highest percentage of total team air yards. So Terry McLaurin, I feel good about being our first leg. Kyron Williams, I think anybody feels good about, regardless of the matchup, regardless of the week. And he is number 23. So that works for our twist. We'll stick with the regular line here on attempts at 19 and a half, considering he's averaging almost 20. Seattle's allowing 30. And the only time he hasn't cashed this over the last last five weeks. He missed by the hook against the Bears. Negative game script in that one. I don't expect that here. And for our third and final leg, we're going with a quarterback who you probably thought of first when I said it has to be an odd numbered jersey. Number 15, Patrick Mahomes. Now, the only reason I'm weary is we're going to have to go 300 plus passing yards to get up to 20 to 1 in this parlay payout. And I know it's high for what he's been doing so far this season, but the Bucs are allowing 30% more production to quarterbacks than Lee league average, the second most in the NFL. They're allowing the fourth most passing yards. It's the second game for DeAndre Hopkins in the mix. And Mahomes is coming off one of his best games this season. And it's Patrick Mahomes, people. We've done crazier things. Good luck this week.